Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel WA Electronics. Today, we're diving into a full unboxing and review of the FNERSI DST210, a 3-in-1 digital oscilloscope multimeter. We'll explore the oscilloscope functions, the signal generator, and the multimeter features like AC-DC voltage measurements, resistance, continuity, diode testing, capacitance measurement, and even some bonus features like zero live line check and the data hold function. And yes, we'll also test its built-in 3000 milliamp hour battery and see how it charges. So let's get started. All right, so here's the box, pretty compact. As you can see, the box highlights some key features on the back and oscilloscope picture on the front. Let's open it up. Inside the box we have FNIRSI DST210 main device itself. Multimeter testing probes, red and black. A 100 MHz P6100 oscilloscope probe. A cable with crocodile clips terminating in a BNC connector. A USB-C charging cable a user manual with pictures and clear instructions. Everything feels good quality for the price point. The multimeter feels solid and well-built, which is always a good sign. The buttons are well-placed and responsive, giving a good tactile feel and the device itself feels quite sturdy and portable. At first glance, the FNIRSI DST210 impresses with its compact design, vibrant display, and a promise of serious functionality packed into a portable device. The 3000 milliamp hour rechargeable lithium battery is another plus, ensuring convenience and eco-friendliness. Overall, it feels like a premium device that can withstand regular use in various environments. Taking a quick look at the specs, 10 megahertz bandwidth oscilloscope, 48 mega samples per second, sampling rate, signal generator up to 50 kilohertz and support 13 waveform output. Multimeter features including AC-DC voltage, AC-DC current, resistance, continuity, diode, capacitance, and live wire detection. powered by a 3000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery. Before we dive into testing, let's plug it in to check the charging. You'll notice a battery icon that animates during charging. It takes roughly two to three hours for a full charge from empty, and a full charge should give you about six to eight hours of operation depending on usage. Now let's test the oscilloscope function. I have a different wave signal here from a signal generator. You can see the waveform clearly on the screen. The menu is quite intuitive. You can adjust time base, voltage per division, and trigger modes easily. Not bad at all for a portable scope. Ideal for quick troubleshooting jobs. Next, the signal generator. You can generate square waves, sine waves, triangle waves up to 50 kilohertz. Perfect if you need a basic test signal for development or diagnostics. It supports 13 waveforms with a frequency range of 0 to 10 kilohertz and an adjustable output voltage of 3 volts. The frequency, amplitude, and duty cycle can all be fine-tuned to meet various testing needs.
Now let's test out the multimeter features. First, AC voltage. Always be careful when measuring mains voltage. Now DC voltage, testing a 9V battery. You can see it's reading accurately. Measuring resistance. Here's a 10 kilo ohm resistor, and it's reading spot on. Continuity testing is fast with a good loud beep. For diode testing, here's a standard silicon diode. It shows forward voltage drop properly. Capacitance measurement works up to a few hundred microfarads easily. Here's a 25 microfarad capacitor, and reading is spot on. Another nice feature is the zero and live line check. Very handy when working with mains wiring. And of course, you can hold readings easily by pressing the hold button. Great when you're measuring awkward spots. So to wrap up, the Finerci DST210 packs a ton of functionality into a compact and affordable package. It's not a replacement for a full bench oscilloscope or high-end multimeter, but for hobbyists, students, field work, or quick troubleshooting, it's fantastic. Pros, portable, 3-in-1 features, good display, decent accuracy. Cons, limited bandwidth for oscilloscope, basic build quality for probes. Thanks for watching. If you found this review helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more awesome tech reviews. I've dropped a link in the description if you want to check it out or grab one for yourself. It might even be on sale. Drop your questions in the comments. I'll be happy to help. See you next time.